Hi, Sandra here from Creating Spain. Uh, please excuse any coughing and spluttering and general huskiness. I have a cold at the moment. Um, I wanted to do a tutorial on shortcuts lot for this is this is version 4.011, and I wanted to talk about the rotation tool. Now they have sorted out the rotation. If I just select this and object transform rotate. Um, it hadn't been working properly so that if you put in, I don't know, 90 degrees and then you applied it and it changed it to 90 degrees, which is fine. It used to be that when you clicked OK, it would then rotate it again, which obviously wasn't what you intended. They have fixed that. That's great. Um, but there is a, another slight issue that I have with this um, rotation business and I'm going to show you what it is. Now if I go to Object, Duplicate, and underneath there there's Duplicate Rotated. This is a useful function. If you make single petal shapes, you can rotate them and multiply them and mess around. You get some really good flower shapes and that, things like that. And it, it, It's just a handy tool to use. But this one isn't the easiest of ones to do. And I'm going to show you why. Go to Duplicate, Rotated. <coughs> oh dear. And as you can see, there is no option to move that centre of rotation from where it is, which is there, I hope you can see it on the screen, to wherever you want to uh, put it. You cannot drag it. It does not drag. So in order to move your centre of rotation from, say, here to maybe there, you need to use the offset buttons, the height, sorry, the horizontal offset, and the vertical offset. Now horizontal is side to side, vertical up and down as most of you know. Now if you put in a plus number in the horizontal it moves your duplicated object to the right. As you can see if I make this copy two copies now it's moved the next one to the right. If I put in a plus number on this one it moves it down. So obviously if you want to move it up then you put in a minus number for your vertical and if you want to move it to the left you put a minus number in for your horizontal. Now all very well and good except for the fact that it's very difficult if you want to position something quite precisely it's very difficult to do without being able to just drag it. Now normally what I would think of is ah go to the colour and just make it opaque. And then we can see both the um, the grid and the object on the grid, which is fine. But what you'll find is that as soon as you go to the object duplicate rotated and you add in either a number or a copy, your opacity is gone again and you will therefore find it far more difficult to set that to be um, where you want it to be basically because you can't see the grid underneath. So what I'm going to do is go back to the page and see if the workspace alpha works. So if we set it that way does it make any difference? Let's have a look. Object Duplicate rotated, and I'm going to put it up here. Four centimeters, copies two, and that actually works reasonably well. You can still see it's not quite as transparent as I had it, but you can still see the um, the grid behind. So that is how you're going to have to use that rotated duplicate tool. So remember. If you do it in your workspace alpha, you'll be able to see the um, grid still. If you rely on transparency, the object, then you won't. Okay, so having done that, I'm going to cancel this. And I'm actually going to attempt to make it look halfway reasonable. Just going to manually rotate it back to where I was thinking of in the first place. <clears throat> oh dear. Talking does make me tend to want to golf. Go back to the object, duplicate rotated, 
and I am going to need to move it into this corner here more or less. So it's one, two, three across and one, two, three across and three down more or less. So let's see how this works. And there we are. And how many copies do I want? I don't know, five maybe. There we go. So I have my flower, that's what I originally wanted. And that's how to do it. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial you saw. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.